Hey, uh, so we're getting measurements for this oven because this oven's got to go in. I was telling Jim these are our knobs that go on the front. And uh, knobs, as most of you will uh, note, uh, are 350 degrees for uh, 15 minutes. And what we want to do is uh, make our box uh, because and we're starting with the oven because the micro microwave goes above it and J Jim's building the framing right now. So he's getting measurements. This is how we do This beast. Yeah. Well, stretch it up on the back end of it. And being this is going up. So I would measure from here um, or down to here two feet because this goes up a little bit. And this is for your um, exhaust or your oven because your oven. We decided, or I decided, that uh, we wanted the counter to be flush with this and then let this pop a little bit higher than our 36-inch counter because uh, I just think that that accent is kind of nice when that happens. Yeah. And not to make the recess this so that this is the height of the counter because, as you can see, it goes up a little bit higher. Anyway, I just think it's nice. It'll be... Uh... And then you'll have your counter, um, those lips for the counter, so no food or grease dropping. Cool. Down there, so that'll keep it protected. All right, so that's how it is. I just uh, actually, I just want to put plastic sheeting over everything, so nobody touches it. No dust gets on it. And then every time I use the oven, I'll replace the plastic sheeting. Okay. <laughs> All right, hey, if you want to do it, that well, way, I, you five, can. I, I'm going to have an array of five fire extinguishers. I like that, Jim. I'm going to make some calls today, find out what that's going to cost me. <laughs> Are we putting this thing back yep. up yet? It doesn't need feet. Oh, it does have feet. Right here. These are the feet. See? It doesn't need two sets of feet, Jim. You have to keep it from sliding forward. So then I just bend those back, and then this portion here, this portion will be sticking out from the counter. That's the measurement I want. Ooh, good catch, Jim. Good catch. So, so do we need to, uh, you also need to account for that, that back lip. You're not going exactly to the edge, Jim. Here, let me just, no, no, let me rotate this fucking thing. Because you're making serious measurements. In a fucking Have you heard that word cockamamie? I haven't, heard, I haven't heard that shit in at least a decade. Man. Eighteen and a half. And your counter is going to be. You're still measuring from right here. Look how far out this is. You need to. You need that conversation. Oh, right there. Well, no, because I'm going to have room back here. I just want to find, because actually it doesn't really matter, because if I have a depth of 21 and a half, 21 and a half is there, so I'm going to have three inches of clearance back here. Mm. Where does our counter normally come out to? Uh, our counter was going to be coming out at... I thought you said 20 inches. I did say 20, so if it's coming out to there... That's still, yeah, that still gives me a... It gives you an inch to play with. Inch and a half, yeah, Gas basically, line. yeah. Gas line's going to be um, coming just on the end there, and then you're just going to use one of those flex tubes to go to it. Because this is not going to be moving anywhere. Uh, uh, but yeah, that'll give you... Like your edge of your counter, technically. Be 
So, okay. I mean, if we have to adjust that 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 width and come out to 21. I think we're going to come out to 21 for the. That's cool with me, man. For the counter. Um, but you'll be an inch in. You'll have a one inch overhang. Because the base has already been established. Okay. So one inch. So you'll have a one inch overhang, which is. I, for track lighting. That's all right. That rope lighting or something. A little accent light? You though. can. You can put something like that Hell yeah. if you wanted to. Hell um, yeah. 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 Because then this has. Um, oh. What are we doing? Because these. Oh, bef when you, you need to have your oven at an, that, at an angle, right. depending on what you're making. Those will be attached to the um, actual base, and that gets screwed in so it doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Stay put. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just stay put oven. Yeah. And then, technically, I'm supposed to screw, screw it in on the sides here. Cool. So yeah, we'll, we'll be good. Yep. We won't be going anywhere. All right. Maybe, maybe I'll go show the camera where this thing is going. Truck. This is what we're talking about. Now, chow, right here. This general space right here against my door. And so, Jim, what? You're going to run, you're going to take that gas line. Uh, yeah, like so? the gas line is actually going to run up here, come out, and then 90 and stop right here. Uh -huh. And then you're going to have, because uh, this is going to be cut down. It's got to get all the way to here. Right, they make, well, no, because that, that gas line's recessed. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's got to come all the way to here, elbow, and then come inside. Of well, the it's oven. not going to be solid, though. You, you want a, a flex line. Right, okay, right. So, I think they make long enough flex lines because you can I can always add on to this gas line but I mean if you have let's see two by so a three and a half foot gas line mm -hmm. then it'll reach it all right um, and then if they don't make one that long then I can always add on to this tube and bring it in because this is all going to be enclosed anyway um, because my boards originally look how beautiful that is. Originally my boards were gonna go like this for the base and then have the counter kind of And have a drawer right here. And have a drawer underneath. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm putting this basically all the way. And then this will be like this and then I'll have my box basically like this and it'll be coming across. So with my new measurement that I have with the whole total height of Look at Jim's clipboard. I just wanna say Jim has nice stuff. Look, look at that clipboard. Twenty two inches. When you erase it, you what write right then in a white out marker and then <laughs> I just dig it man. So if I leave that rear right where it's at, that's my twenty two inch to the counter. You don't even know what all these marks are for anymore. It's, yes, I do actually. This is so, this is how the this is how the hieroglyphics started, man. They're so, like, oh shit, we're etching all these drawings out, man. We gotta tell a story with this shit. Right. So this mark here would be thirty-seven and a half. That's too high for the counter. Okay. So I have to be thirty-six. So well, that's to, the countertop, right? That is the countertop. That is the top of the counter. That's where I want to be. Look how many lines there are. Jim doesn't know what the fuck is happening yep, right here. Because this was Nobody my knows. Original measurement uh, of this oh, sure. 
and then from this measurement to this measurement was for the distance between the stove and the <laughs> All right, I take your word for it, man. <laughs> I wouldn't know. So, There's a story in your own mind, though, in there. It looks like a constellation to me. It, it kind of is. But if you built the constellation, I guess... So that I makes actually... Jim God for this for these lines in their little world. Jim is God. The Lord bringeth another line for us. Inch, for... <laughs> inch and a half. So I have to cut these inch and a half. All right. So that way it's going to come up to. Well, let's see. I'm going to be drawing more lines. So can I just say something? Because I'm still thinking about the lines, and there were. What if we actually, as a species, as humans, got to watch God construct the universe? Like, there's like like imaginary blue lines in the heavens and shit while he's constructing and scaffolding around the sun. Holy shit, man! So on top of this is going to be a half inch board. So actually, my mark is right here. So then I have Yay! to... Yay! Rejoice! Rejoice! There. <laughs> I have to now go two inches. I have to cut two inches off of that. All right. And then I'll be at... My mark. Because that is my mark. That is... That is... Yep, that is my mark. The middle of Orion's belt. Yep. All right. So... That's my mark right there. And they are stars after all. It is. It all comes full circle. It comes, comes together. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Didn't want to have to do that. Oh well. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? We're, we're making modifications every yeah, day. Yeah, because the reason being is if I did it this way, I did it this way, and I put my board just right here, which, just to show you, these boards are nice and flat. Yeah. That's show me again. That's flat. That's, you know, these boards are nice and even. Sure. But then when I come over here, whoop. It's because this one's bowed? Uh, no. This one's bowing in? No. It's because of all the measurements uh, that it's off. So that's why. Oh, you're just pointing out that you fucked up. No. Oh. I'm pointing out on how wacky the box is. Because no. this. Look. Look. All level. Put a level on this. That's it's level. the wood. It's the wood. The exactly. wood's bowing. So that's why I have these here. Yeah. So it stops that from bowing like that. This is not moving. So this is level. That's level. Mm -hmm. And this is level. So so somehow, Jim, you got to make the wood your bitch. You got to make it do what it's supposed to do. Exactly. Because you, so, you are the man. So I'm following this contour right here. Mm -hmm. This gap right here will be filled in. That way everything matches. Okay. Up. As long as this... I just don't want this forcing this nope. to, to impede the door so I can't use the door. Right. So once I get my base once I get my base for my oven, on here there's gonna be another um, board. Because on the end here, I'm gonna have board going all the way up. Here, board all the way up to here, because you're gonna have your box going here. For, for the, the tip of the kayak. Sure. Cool. Um, and then on this side, a board going all the way up because your microwave uh, exhaust is going to be yeah out here. So it's going to come down, come at an angle, and then go into the microwave here. Mm. Because this is the width of the microwave. These two marks here. <gasps> Your friends, yes. Wait, do they know? Maybe these no. are the alien visitors that they all, these guys all talk about. However, my width. I don't, stove, I don't belong in these videos. <laughs> my, my width of the stove is, was wrong in the beginning. It was uh, 20 and 3 eighths. All right. That's not right. 
it is now 21 and a half. So this 20 and 3 eighths, right? Well, I gave it some room, so 21 and a half here, or 20 and a half, is now becoming 21 and a half. So I split the difference, and it's gonna go like that. So a quarter inch on each side. Oh, this is the end of the oven right here. A quarter inch more that than way. that one. Right. All right. So the true actual. I don't have any pencils. So, no, put it in the wrong pocket. So, if this is 20 and a half, then I need to go 21 and a half. I add a quarter. It's 20 and a half, so it's 21 and a half, so an inch. It's terribly entertaining to watch someone make measurements. I mean, maybe I should do the comedy. And Jim's coming in with a pencil. What's this? What's this? He's making a three-quarter of an inch line. Is that three-quarters of an inch? It looks like three-quarters of an inch. Yeah. That is three-quarters of an inch. And that There's no real fun way to do a half an inch. commentary on this. And he lines up the tape measure. Tape measure is looking flush. Only one and three quarters. Jim's double checking the line. And Jim's texting himself with the wood. <laughs> Twenty one and three quarters. Oops. Ooh, that's precision right there. Yeah. Look at that. Good job. So the oven would be right there, microwave, yeah, that seems right. Yeah. And I'll do some more research on what the actual usual distance between the surface of the uh, oven to the microwave. To the to microwave. The, to the yeah. Should vent or hood. Yeah, it seems like two feet. I'll double check. Okay. So I have to get uh, two inches. While he's doing that, I'm gonna show you one other thing. Jim, you mind if I slide around you? Yeah. Uh, back of the truck. Here's here's what we're looking at. Underneath the truck, I have this area in the back. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use four of the smaller propane tanks that you can swap out at a gas station. I just like the uh, versatility uh, of the ones that are at gas stations and um, uh, instead of having to go to a propane uh, refill station. I mean, that, may, that plan may change, but you can get this, uh, you, in a, they have systems out there that'll have up to four uh, of those smaller, what are they, 10, 10 pound tanks uh, in, in one system. Anyway, I feel like we're gonna build a casing here. Or we could put a 100 pound tank here, but then I've gotta buy a 100 pound tank. So, uh, this is the idea, right here at the back of the truck. I'm filling everything under the truck with stuff. So, like this is the motor and battery for the lift gate. Battery's missing. A little bit of time. This is the uh, batteries for the solar system. Uh, there's a 6,000 watt generator right here. Uh, we'll probably have to move that closer here. And then on this other side underneath the truck, <laughs> 